What are you doing now? We're gonna use some hammered mm -hmm. to add a little bit of texture. Okay, can I see the cam? Because I was cam? looking at reference pictures. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of hammered look on the helmet. So they don't have a hammered gold, but it's fine because this is like a copper. So let's see. And just for people, this is not a color thing. It is a texture thing. We will yeah. be going back over this with the gold that you used. Yep. And I'm just going for some random spots. still see some of the 3D print lines in the back a little bit, but it's all right. I don't know. Who's taking pictures of the back of your head? Din Jaren might be. If you were black. to do it again, you I'd would do it black. i paint the whole thing in black, and then I would use textured black, hammered black, in these, those area, those big, areas yep and then do and the then gold over it okay but it looks pretty fantastic if you ask me i think it's good needs a black wash but i don't know the metallic paint take longer to dry than say like a flat or a satin yes yeah, so we'll just let it dry overnight so it's probably gonna be over yeah what are you doing me Mm -hmm. Prepping to weather. Are you nervous? Nope. Why would I be nervous? Because you've <coughs> never done an armor helmet before, so... It's just weathering. And technically, if you mess up, you could just spray right over it. Assuming you're filming. I am filming you. Okay, so here's... We are going to do weathering today. Wait, up. wait, 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 wait. Can you say that again with a little more oomph? One, two, three, and action. We're gonna do weathering today. Wait, your finger was off. Weathering today. Rubbing alcohol was very hard to find. This is my favorite thing. And we're gonna get tons of comments saying you can use Windex, you can use water, you can use, I use rubbing alcohol, because it dries quick. And go. And what else do you use? Use paint. Use a little cheap, little cheap. Get them at Michael's, like a dollar. Put a little bit of paint in your cup. I put a little brown and a little black in there. Take your rubbing alcohol. Is it scientific? Nope. Will it explode? No. Pour some rubbing alcohol in there. Take a popsicle stick, stir it up. Oh boy. I might have put too much rubbing alcohol in. But you gotta stir it. Is there a right or wrong way? There is no right or wrong way. This is kind of, you know, it's kind of something you just gotta try. This is this is called black washing. What we're doing. Um, there's, you know, depending on how much you can get it stirred up, depending on how you apply it. It stir it up. I like foam. You can you can you can be as detailed or as um, I just want you to know you're giving Landspeed Motorcycle Motors, Motors, <laughs> Shop a nice big ad no, right now. It's my friend Tony. Okay, so this is a nice consistency black wash. So I like this. It's very watery. Um, so it's going to get into the cracks and it is very low uh, risk. Hey y'all, I'm just gonna say that at this point in the video, Brian is gonna show you a black washing technique that he doesn't actually like and he goes over it later, but I'm gonna leave it in so you can see our process. Enjoy. Because it's so watery. So because of that, we're gonna go big style. We're just gonna do the whole stinking thing. Someone's gonna go, oh, you see the rings on top of your helmet. Yep, you do. You see my rings, thank you. Thanks for pointing them out. I'm sure people are really gonna be looking at the top of the helmet when they're taking pictures. Nothing to say? Well, I was just gonna say that once you wipe, you probably won't see the rings as much as you do now. No, not as much. So 
What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this whole thing nice and coated. <clears throat> and then you're going to see the next step. So you can do this very calculated too. You can just do this in the cracks, right? But, you know, black washing adds dimension. It adds texture. It adds depth to whatever it is you're doing. How's the back? Did I get the back? Okay. So <clears throat> then you just dab. So definitely we got too much on here because <laughs> this is really black, but guess what? You're going to see what's going to happen. And I didn't put gloves on, so that's not very fun. Oops. Do you need some gloves? So this armor. She looks dope though. I've seen some stuff. Yeah, but I like weathering. I mean, I'm in the same boat as you. I like weathering. Hold on first off. Put, putting gloves. This should have been step one, but if you've been following Brian's builds by now, you know that he hardly ever uses any safety protection Tried on hands or for a week because I've been sanding yeah. stuff forever. Yeah, he's been breathing okay. in all the sand. So, okay, so look, we, we put made too a mess. much on. It's black. What do you do? Look, comes right off. Mm. So this is actually we're getting we're getting some good some goodness right now. Oh yeah. I'm actually kind of feeling it. <clears throat> See now I'm taking a little too much. Too much off. But you can add more. Yep. I'm gonna just start gonna redo over. it. We're just gonna start over. And what I can do is so I'll show you. So you saw how that cleaned off, right? Yeah. So I did what I see can do up. is just make a new batch. I just put more alcohol into what's in here. Right. So all that paint is actually... Get out of my <laughs> face! <laughs> okay, we're just going to start over. So trippy. I know you're kind of making this hard sticking that thing in my face. Well, we got to show the the fam out there on the interwebs. I know. Well, I also need to fix the helmet. <laughs> I'll go over here. Wet. Now, now go. We can go back. What a mess. Like this. Ooh. There we go. Better. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Now oh, yeah. it's getting in the cracks. <clears throat> when you're <laughs> when you're doing this, you have to have full body motion. Too. Oops, the back is looking a little. I try to like get rid of like the like really liquidy looking stains. Like yeah. That. I don't like, like that. Yeah, no. I agree. So I let's get rid of that. Here Usually it with <clears throat> black washing, you want to get it in the cracks, in the seams. If your helmet is like bright overall, you can use it to knock down the color. Away. So overall, we've knocked down the 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 gold, right? It's not so gold anymore. Yeah. And I'm just taking a little bit of rubbing alcohol, putting it on my rag, and just finding the spots where I just don't like the way it looks, and wiping those off. And then probably what we'll do. See no more rings. No more rings. No more Probably rings. what we'll do is we'll go back over it and do little sections. I'm just getting rid of these like watery looking spots that I don't, I don't like those because it's obvious it's a black wash. Yeah. So I think we're getting. She looks dope. I think it's getting pretty good. Yeah, I agree. 
Oh, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more calculated. So overall, I've knocked down the gold. It's not so gold anymore. There's some definition of the lines, but <clears throat> in certain areas, I don't have the definition. So see, there's no darkness in there. So now I'm gonna do um, more of like a spot. I'm gonna try to go this way because the lighting is weird. Weird looking out the garage. I'm gonna do yeah, more of a so. spot treatment. Okay. So I'm gonna just way too much water on there. So you have your rag handy or whatever. Yep. Watch this. Oh yeah. Why is that so satisfying? <laughs> this is one of the satisfying videos that <laughs> Levi watches all the time. Like slime. So now it's getting like. Yeah. in the crack right yeah there we go and you can also um, you could have a um a heat gun handy or like a blow dryer and you can also see we've got a big old drip mark though i like it and that's probably it's probably my mixture's too watery so yeah now we got a big old line so Let's do I'm gonna this. I'm going to get a new cup. I'm going to mix yeah. up a little bit. Add a little bit more paint. It's just trial and error. We're just going to keep trying it. You can also use the paintbrush if you want to be a little more precise too. Right? Yep. Different tools. So I'm looking at the picture. We did see that these areas have that like super heavy hammer texture. So we're adding more. It needs a texture your texture yeah there we go probably gonna get some chunks in it but whatever that's okay that's <laughs> but that's the texture of yeah. it it almost reminds me of a drywall spackle you know oh, yeah look at that yeah there we go because the hammer spray paint yep just isn't quite enough of a heavy texture Yeah, that definitely has a little more texture. What do you think? Yeah. Not a lot though. Uh -uh. I don't know. I feel like in the photo it has way more. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not worried about the texture. I'm worried no. about the color. So this time we're going to try airbrush? Yeah. Okay. This is the real way he ends up doing it. All right, so what are you doing now? So. Besides having a nice new haircut. We're going to go for airbrush. And see how that works, because we're just not happy with the black wash. So you went back over it. So we went back over it. We did add some texture with the hammered paint and some sandpaper, which is pretty cool. I think that came out good. So is it the same concoction? No, this is just water. I'm just thinning the airbrush. So Do I know what I'm doing? No. I mean, I know how to use an airbrush. So yeah. this is going to be interesting. If I can get my food in my mouth. Oh my God, gross. Because fun fact, this is Tori's airbrush from college? High school. High school. 
Okay, well, here we go. Well, it's not that noisy. Oh, I need to be So you're just using acrylic paint yeah, and I watered water. it down. I wanted to use acrylic paint, that way... If I mess it up, I can change it. Yeah, I think I have a clog. Which is weird, because... When you're airbrushing... It's nice to have something... Test it out on? Test it out on. Little bit of spackling. Not coming out. No, oh, it is. It's like a mini spray paint. Okay, so after airbrushing. Yeah, I'm hitting it with um, just some super fine steel wool to kind of break up, to break up the airbrush marks. Just try to make it look a little bit more weathered. And less intentionally weathered. Yeah. More natural look. Yeah, look a little less like, look at the airbrush marks. Like, I'm going to hand brush a couple little... Oh, hi. Hi. That is... You going to hand brush some things? Yeah, just kind of got, got a little crazy here. Hit through some other layers. I'm just going to hit it with a little something. Cool. Maybe a uh, plastic dip the inside. Oh, that would be so nice. Mm. Oh, is that shining it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, show me what that is. It's just satin. Satin clear. And that should protect everything too, right? Yep, it'll protect the paint job. Uh, Benno, and can you move please? Levi, More importantly, can you get it brings out a little shine because we want a little bit of shine. So the satin kind of brings it out a little bit. That's why it's a... Show me the secret inside of the helmet. Take me on a tour. So I printed this. Can you see it? Yeah. Hmm. So I printed it with a full inner support, which I didn't need to, but there was a bunch of chunkies on the inside and I used um, some two-part um, molding mix. Put it on the inside and then I used um, Pasta Dip spray to line the inside. And we got a nice... Fancy satin clear coat it looks gorgeous to give it that shine wow i think we're done the helmet looks insane now we'll do the visor another time because we have to order it oh yeah yeah, yeah. i gotta order that that's right yeah, yeah, yeah forgot yeah. but we'll talk about that next time yeah.